Sorry about that. I'll try with the microphone on. Um, yes. Um, tonight, my neighbour came out and basically had a go at me for... putting up the door camera under the device of the police. She took a photograph of me and she told me that I wasn't allowed the door camera and that she would get the council to come and remove it tomorrow. Which sort of hints that there's something going on inside the council because not many people can say they can get the council out tomorrow to do something. So if the council do come out tomorrow, can I call the police? Uh, the police are coming round now anyway. Can I call the police to prevent either theft or criminal damage? Because the police told me I could put it up. I've got it tuned perfect now anyway. It's focused right, it's protecting my entire doorstep now. Because I've been able to take the antenna off, I can actually tune it to the right spot. But um, my heart rate's over 100. God knows what blood pressure is. Um, oh, I've got a viewer. I've got a viewer out there. Hello, viewer. Thank you for joining me. Is that you? Hold on. Let's see. See if it's my viewer. Hmm. Waiting for the police to pick you up. Yeah, no. I've got a friend that keeps sending me pictures of chocolate. That's cruel, man. I've got none in the ass. So, I've once again complained to the police and Sharon Allen Caby, I think the name is. I'm not very good with double barrack names. I always get letters mixed up. Um... And I've basically, it's a bit to both. And I've basically asked both of them, you know, why am I being treated like this? I'm only putting a bloody door camera up because your tenants are abusive, have no respect for security, and keep threatening me and abusing me. I mean, the fact they're all in breach of their tenancies, and I've got paperwork here to prove it, and nothing gets done... My housing officer came here about three, four weeks ago, took a photograph of my dog, walked past all the stuff, all the personal items in the fire escape. This camera is a bit weird, isn't it? I'll sort it out tomorrow. I was testing it earlier this afternoon and it seemed to be working fine. But when I'm streaming, maybe it's something to do with stream. And he walked past all the personal items, which he said six months ago, would be removed immediately without further warning. Hmm. That doesn't sound right, does it? And as Waltham Forest Council have not explained themselves, and have not said why other people have been, been treated more favourably than I, because my English is pretty good, you see. Not than me, than I then I have to assume it's either based on disability or race. I don't know. Such is life, people. So what's been happening today? I've washed my duvet, finally, about a week after the cat weed on it. That's how depressed I've been. I've let the duvet stay there. It's got a waterproof membrane, so it's just in duvet colour. So I've washed that, I've got it on the radiator, drying. Um, I mopped the floors yesterday, gave the place a bit of a dust today. And I have, strangely enough, been coughing less today since I dusted. So... There's no one there.
how long have I been on? It's probably only 10 minutes or something. I think I might cut it short tonight anyway because I'm waiting for the police and I'm shaking like a leaf. And I don't know what to say really because, you know, one day is pretty much the same as another. No, Caspi, please get... Hold on, people. Sorry about that, Caspi. Come on, babe. He's going to have a go at the cables again. Um, the only thing that's progressed really is I've asked Victim Sport to contact Sharon again. Sharon doesn't want to talk to Victim Sport. She just wants to email me threats about single point of contact and removing my human rights. Nice woman. See where her staff get the attitude, didn't you? Hmm? And housing ombudsman have stepped up the case to stage three now. It's at the... Mm. Caspi, I'm not going to hit you. Come here. Say hello to the crew, Caspi. Caspi. No, don't hit your head on the thing. Caspi. YouTube. YouTube, Caspi. Um, yeah, so... Oh, what is it? Something in mediation. Oh, I can't even remember now. It was only 12 hours ago. Anyway, it's at stage three and it's going to go over to their service and they're going through cases quite quickly at the moment, apparently. But the trouble is, if they just go by paperwork, I'm not sure how I'm going to prove all this because the council are very clever with it. He came out, number 11, Thank took a photograph of me, told me I can't have a door camera, no, yeah. you can't have a door camera, Leave I'm going to get the... Um, Council to come down and remove it tomorrow. And I turned round to all peace um, calm and said, Well, the police have told me I can have a camera. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm going to get the council down anyway and have it removed. Yeah. And I've been getting that, I would say since February, but basically since lockdown. Mm. Um, they were all right with the camera for two years and then all of a sudden, lockdown, bang, they complain about the camera. Okay. Um, I can't do anything about the children playing. No, I don't expect it. Yeah, it's a council I, issue. Yeah, it's a council issue. Um, I don't know, obviously we, we've seen something the council have said saying you've got to take it down by the 23rd of October or they'll remove it because everything's belonging to them. Obviously, if they come down and remove it, you'll have to take it down. That's it, done then. Yeah, I've got approval from Jane Sargent. Yeah, don't worry about what my sergeant says. I've spoken to my sergeant. My sergeant can only go on what we know. If the council have said that's their property, the communal area, and you can't record in the communal oh, area, yeah, sure. then you've got to But I had someone go. else on 101 yesterday or this morning say I should be able to invite the oh, yeah. camera. I think they obviously don't know in what context of what it is and where it is and that. And obviously if the council own the property and they own the, the communal area and they're saying that there are no recordings in the communal area unless they put them in, then obviously you have to follow council guidelines because they can just come and remove it uh, because it's their property. Um, so why so am I being told by the police, two police, police people, yeah. that I can have a camera? I'll be honest with you, sir. I read your I read your CAD and the first thing I said, well, it's a civil dispute. It's not a police matter. I know it is. You can't stop people. However, now I've read the thing from the council, it's not like this is your private property in your house and it's onto your front driveway which is what people are probably picturing, it's actually your camera onto a communal area upstairs. You can take a photograph in my front door. Yeah, you can photograph through front door, you can photograph through the front door. But because the council has specifically said that camera needs to be done by the 23rd of October, and it is their property, then actually... But no one else has been told to take their cameras down. Who's got cameras? I can't get that information from the council. But I know people... I'm because I'm not getting information from the council, I've actually started campaigning on Facebook. I'm getting lots of people saying, I've got a door camera in, I've got the flag. Mm. Well, like I said, that's something you're going to have to take up with the council. They're not like. talking to me. Okay. Well, they have haven't just... been talking to me since March, I would say. Okay. Well, you're going to you're gonna have to persevere and carry on emailing and escalating it and asking the managers and so that's what you're going to have to do. I've certainly seen an email from the council saying that the camera has to come down, so they are communicating. And if you've got no. proof that you're sending emails, making phone calls, registering the dates and times you're doing this, and it's not coming forward, then fine. But if you've got nothing to say that you are actually doing this, 
But what I'll do is take your details, I'm going to put on uh, a report to say this is affecting how you live, that's why you put the camera back up. And um, to go to social services to see if they can help you further to give you a bit more support. And I've also said to number 11, we'll get the Safe Neighbourhood team involved, which apparently they are, to contact you both to see how they can resolve this. But I don't like getting, I don't like getting you guys in, never mind the Safe Neighbourhood team, because they do enough for me. They yeah. keep popping around every now and then, just to make sure I'm all right when they're Who, who comes around to see you? The Safe Neighbourhood team. What's the name? I can't remember. There's oh. a round face Asian bloke and some other person. It's normally him and one of the other, one of the other people. Mm. Well, I'll, I'll, I will email them to say we, that what we've called in on, and I'll put a little report to social service for you, just to say that the reason you put the camera back up is because the children are noise and you just feel like we've no, it wasn't, no, no, don't even go with the children. It's nothing to do with the children. I'm doing it because I'm getting attacked by the adults. Oh, right, so it just... It's not about, about the right. children, it's about the adults mm -hmm. threatening other threats and people at the door shouting at me, I've had people trespassing. Mm. And trespassing? Trespassing. What does that mean? Actually coming in without me letting them. They just stop, stormed through the door. They followed mm -hmm. me up the stairs and came in. Oh right, right in the new area? And they, number three, he came up and he started shouting at me all the way up the stairs. What were you shouting at you about? Because he lost his gardening privileges on the estate. Oh, right. Because I reported him for being a cannabis user. And I said, is this what you want? Cannabis users around children. Mm. And they took his gardening privileges off. And mm. as soon as I came back in, he followed me up the stairs. I pushed him out the door four times. Is it safe neighbourhoods know all about this? Well, they should, because I've emailed them. And Who I've did sent you email? Them, oh, SN, it's the gender generic um, mailbox. They have received, finally, the recording mm. I've done of the bloke downstairs. Have but they replied the, back to you? Well, because it was so long ago, because I didn't get told it was a police thing. I just sent it to housing, mm -hmm. and it was only like three months ago that housing said, well, you know, you can keep going on about it, given, but it's a police issue. That's the first time I got told it was a police issue. Right. But because it was like 15, 16 months after the event, Safer Neighbourhood said, well, there's not much we can do about it. Okay. Well, what we'll do is we've got your phone call. We're going to take a few details from yourself, put a report on the vote social services and saying the reason you put it back up is because your neighbours are giving you grief again about various complaints you put in on them and obviously that you are bothered by the children fame, which you can't be. I'll be honest, I know you're anxious, but we can't stop children fame in the area, especially if it's pouring down the drain. I can't do anything about that. It's the no, they play in their pla this is not a playground. Yeah. It is anti-social behaviour okay. when you're doing it in the communal area. It's on the website. Okay, well you'll have to take that with the council, but we'll, we'll say that you've obviously Can I just got these put a knife through my arm now? Mm -hmm. Take it I know it's frustrating, love, but when you when you own the, when you live in a council property or community area and flats, this is what happens. So I can only advise you on what I can and can't do. I know, but this is only what happened since the new housing officer started, December two thousand and eighteen. What has he not been doing that the other ones did, or what has he been doing that the other ones did? It doesn't do? seem well. Mm -hmm. I had three before that in the space of five and pumps and then he came on in December and he does, doesn't, I don't know what he does with other people, but he doesn't listen, yeah. he doesn't answer, he walks out, when there was public meetings, you know, remember when we had public meeting? whenever I raised a question he used to get up and walk out, I'm not taking this sort of abuse with you, he didn't want to answer questions from me, I wasn't rude, I wasn't abusive, I was just asking questions mm -hmm. he didn't want to answer. The problem is sir, and I will be blunt with you, is when you live in a communal flat, Mm -hmm. Is this council owned? Mm -hmm. Okay. What you would like and what happened are two very different things. When no, you actually, I let me just speak. So although you're not getting the answers you would like to hear, if that's all people can do and you're not happy with it, there's either two things you do. You either buy yourself a private property, and if you can't afford to do that, the saying of you've got to just... It's not so much that. I can't actually look after a property by myself. This mm -hmm. is why I'm in council out. Mm -hmm. So um, you said something to Sergeant Jesse about a um, you're being evicted. They keep threatening eviction. Okay. And where do they want to put you? It's not. They don't want to put me anywhere. They just want to threaten me with eviction. Yeah. Well, that. I've got mental. Are they know about this? Mm. I came here. What mental health have you got? I've what have you been diagnosed with? I've been diagnosed ten years ago with Asperger's, mm -hmm. which is autism. Mm -hmm. 
and three years ago I got confirmation of anxiety and depression. Mm -hmm. And what medication are you on? I'm on basically fluoxetine. I'm on a whole bunch of drugs, but mainly for blood pressure and things like that. But so anything for the actual uh, anxiety or the asperges? So that's just the, that's just for the mental health side of things. Mm. Everything else is for high blood, blood pressure and stuff, and stuff like that. Stuff like that. Um, I know it's not what you want to hear, and I get I that. And honestly, I'm, I know we can't help. I don't more. mind the truth. Mm -hmm. But I've been getting people saying one thing and then people saying something else. I've got assurances before I sign the tenancy mm -hmm. from Waltham Forest Housing. I think, no, when you speak to police, you need to say that you've had a letter from the council saying you can't have a camera up in their community area. Because once you say that, well, then Sergeant Jessic would have said, right, well, if it's council property, council community area, and they've said you are not allowed to have a camera, then because it's the council's property... But he knew this. I spoke to we him, spoke to him and, him and he, he, didn't, he didn't say that. He said that, as far as he said, you're saying that you've got your own camera up on your personal property, which makes no. it sound like I there's a flat, that. there's a flat, and it's over your property, over your front no, door? I said it, no, I said it was front door in a block of flat. Okay. He, did you he, he, he has not heard about this tenancy agreement, and you've not actually said when you rang up that the, cam the camera's been told to be taken down. I've read your CAD, and you've not said over the phone, that you're not allowed this camera because the camera, the, the council says you have to take down by the 23rd of October, otherwise they will take it down. So it if you're was telling, in one of the I don't know if it's okay. in that But if you're talking to Sergeant Jessup, who is a response team officer, he's my sergeant, and you're not telling him the full story, he can only go on what you're telling him. So you didn't tell him that you've been told to take it down point blank, and if you don't take it down, they will remove it as they well can. No, I did tell him. They were telling me to take it down. He said, I don't know why they said, he actually said, I don't understand why they're trying to take, take okay. it down. Well, he can only go on half of what he's no, been no. told. But so I sent him the email. Right, well, I, I don't know. I just asked him about it. And to be honest, when I read the CAD, I pictured it that it was your property, separate, their property. I sent him separate. the email they sent, the council sent for me. He said, he phoned me up and he said, well, if they've got a problem with it, then give them my email address and t tell them to talk to me. Mm. So what I did after I spoke to him, straight away, Mm -hmm. I emailed the senior housing officer mm -hmm. and him, and I said to the senior housing officer, you've got a problem, please speak to Dr. Um, Sergeant James. Okay. He's not going to go through my sergeant, so I wouldn't... Well, that's what he yeah. said. I think he was just trying to help a situation, but he's not a safe neighbourhood sergeant. So, from now on, go through the safe neighbourhoods, we will them. email them, you're just going to have to keep trying, you're going to have to say, I want someone to call me, and we're going to email them with the CAD number, the report we put on, we're going to put an email, we're going to say, you need to contact him and you need to tell you what is going on with the council, where you stand, and at the end of the day, if the council come and take that down, if it, it's there to take down, if they've already sent a letter saying, don't take it down. Why am I being treated unfairly? I don't, I can't answer that, sir. I've been asking the council for the best part of nine months now, and they won't okay. ask me. I can't, I can't help you with the council, sir. Okay. No, I can only help anything. you with trying to mediate a little bit, but we're response team officers, so we're going to contact your local SNP, tell them to come around, speak to you, speak to your neighbour, speak to council, and I suggest you get a full name until whichever police officer comes around so you know who your local SNP officer is and get their email address so you can email them direct if that needs an update. Because going through 101 or through to the us as response team officers, we won't know your background. And the sergeant you spoke to, will have no idea of who you are to the next person because we are respect team officers. We can only go on the story. Because you're from the Chingford station. We do the whole borough, but we are the 999 INS grade. So if you call up and you say, like you have today, we will come. But the Safe Neighbourhood officers, we've been dealing with you for the last how many months or years because they just deal with mm. the neighbourhood yeah, of their section. Well, I've never met you before. I have no idea about the past, I have no idea who you spoke to, how many times you called me, and neither will my sergeant, because that's not why we're here. We don't do the whole background check, we just do what can we help you immediately now. So, I say the same to you, you need to start logging who you speak to, full names, what's coming It's not easy, in. because of me help, it's not that easy. I mean, mm. just trying to find an email takes ages for me. Mm. And I've had panic attacks, but not being able to find emails I know I've sent. Mm. What are you using? Um, on Linux. Okay. Um, maybe just let the mailboxes, little folder, please. Little folder oh no, no, I'll use 
do IT support, I know all that business, yeah. but because of mental health deterioration, I just can't manage to yeah. get that organised. Well, you need life. to tell them that. You need to tell I them. Have to, I've been telling them to an or social worker or anything. I've got. Not to start in December 2018. It started going downhill. Mm -hmm. Then, after about 15 oh. months of having my camera up, my neighbour started it? complaining, and she, you know, lied to the police saying I was moving a camera. Well, you've seen it yourself. It's a static okay. camera. Mm -hmm. I couldn't point it down any further at the yeah. time. I've taken the aerial air now because I've got a fixed it. network point behind the door, and I can actually point it right down to my door now. And if people could, they don't. They, my neighbours leave doors open. People can come and go whenever they want. Mm. And I can't protect any deliveries. Mm. And without that camera up... Do, do you hear? Do you work or do you...? I don't work, no. Mm. But without that camera up, I cannot even leave my flat now. Mm. For five days since I put that camera down, I've not even... I have to appeal to someone on Facebook to come and throw my rubbish away yesterday. Mm. Well, what do you think will happen if you just go downstairs to rubbish the doors up to shut? Well, the front door's yeah, locked and shut. If your front door's locked and shut, then I'm not going to get into it. Oh, believe I've got, me. I've got a letterbox. They can easily poison my cat. Okay. Or throw something in. I'm, I'll keep having these nightmares about people pouring stuff in and setting fire to the place. Well, we'll, we'll it doesn't take that long yeah, to do we'll that. We'll put your concerns on your report, sir. We will say that this is what the, where the anxiety comes in and the paranoia. And it's not like the council didn't know about this. I know. I've no, done but, uh, uh, yeah, just, I know. Because we need your details. Yeah. But moving forward, I know the issues you've got, but unfortunately you're here now. So please, Charles, try and shut your doors. Try and just yeah. hug them if the children are playing. Certainly don't well, go out supposed and... To be at, right, you don't understand. I've got autism. Mm -hmm. If they're doing something wrong, it really aggravates me, mm. and that's against their tenancy. Okay, so so that's all the stuff that you can't deal with that, and it's not for you to deal with. The council so you are, going out and shouting. The council, I didn't was, shout. Well, I, did, I opened the door and she shouted at me. Okay. I suggest. But that's okay. That we'll put you through to the safe name this week. That you need to just be able to. I can't stop what they're going to do. It's not against the law. No, I know, but, but, but it's, it's a it's a council no. issue. I yeah, know. Yeah. But we can't stop that and you can't stop that. Yeah, All you can do is email your council saying they're playing in the communal area again. Ten numbers. I've done that. Yeah. You um, just keep doing it, sir. I certainly wouldn't integrate with them, though, and, and get upset about it but because in a manner that you can't The council has put me on a single point of contact and basically okay. there's a note on my record any communication gets ignored unless it goes through the single point of contact. Mm -hmm. And the single point of contact, I keep saying this now, for five months, is unlawful. It's a forever single point of contact with no end. And that takes my human rights away. I've just explained it to the senior housing officer this morning. I see, you spoke to someone there. No, I've emailed them, because they weren't, they was going to call me yesterday. But they decided, oh, since you brought up several issues, we're not going to call you now. They don't want to discuss the issues, they want to discuss the single point of contact. We'll try and pass it yeah. over, but I don't think it's going to come to anything. I'm just getting moment. confused here, because okay. I'm getting all these mixed signals that you can do this, you can't do that. And I would suggest that you follow what the council are saying. But the council are telling me, they won't justify why I can't have a door camera when other people have got door cameras. In this block? Not in this block, I don't know about door cameras in this block. I don't leave, I haven't left my flat since February. I haven't seen one when I walked up. Can, I, grab your, can I just grab your details? Yep. Sorry. What's your full name? William George Gibbons. William? George Gibbons. William George Gibbons. What date were you? 8th February 1967. Contact number? 07506 mm -hmm. 7 Okay, so if anyone put Merlin report on. Another one. <laughs> I could pay and we'll email the safe neighbours. I know it's frustrating, sir. I know it's, it's not a police not. issue. Thank you for coming round. Yeah. But I, 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 I can only pass I'm afraid I'm they're going to make stories. I told the council in February they're going to start lying to the police about me. And they've already, 11 started that two, three months ago. And it's not going to take, the sheep building the case to say I'm a paedophile or something. The way she spoke to me this afternoon. Stay away from my child. Stay away from the children. I These think are children. What she was just getting at, because I spoke to her, is if you don't want the children to play, rather than speaking to the children, go and get the adults. 
As in, I was speak, no, no, no. I was speaking to the adult. I was trying to speak to the adult. Yeah. I what, didn't approach the yeah, child. What, what I suggest... I don't blame children between, for being children. Yeah, I've just, never done that. Yeah, just... I, I don't know what happened because I wasn't here. But what I suggest is, is moving forward, your anxiety is not going to be fixed. And wherever you go, there's going to be a problem. There might have been no, quite 15 months, but you can't stop other people moving in and people moving the law. out. Well, they're not breaking, they're the, not law. breaking the law by signing a, a corridor. No. no, they were breaking the law by having drugs and breaking COVID restrictions. Well, if they're breaking the law to, by having drugs, that's a police matter. You just report it, and we will deal with I that. I report to the police, they say it's council. I report to the council, they say it's police. That's what happens. Okay. Well, moving forward, if it's a police matter, we'll deal with it. The council, are like any typical council, everything will take time. And if they have people that they can't help quickly because there's nowhere to put anyone it's going to be in yeah, but you're region. talking like i should move somewhere no i'm, I'm not saying, saying that i'm just that's saying how you're, that's how it's i'm saying call. they've got nowhere to put anyone so they can't say right there's an issue here you you've got autism and they've got children and the two don't mix you're not even supposed to have children in the flat well, These aren't flats for families. These we are we don't know any of this because we're not the council. The council. No, so we're yeah. just trying to advise you going forward what we're going to do to help you. Because so what am I supposed to do then? Well, what, like I said. Take the camera down again. Well, if that's what the council told you to do, yeah. And to just keep emailing the council, talking to your care worker or key worker, whoever it is. And just keep talking to the safe neighbours, saying she's not getting any better. There shouldn't be families here, but obviously if the council put a family here, they can do what they wish because it's their property. So they can see one tenancy agreement for you, one tenancy agreement for them, and they can literally make it because that's what councils do. They own property, they've well, got to put people places. The they question they haven't them. answered in seven months is why are they forcing me to do things and they're not forcing the others to do anything? That's, that's well, we, d we, we don't, don't know, know about that. We we, know we, that. We, I can't answer you that You walked question. up the stairs, did you see all the shoes on the stairs? No, no I didn't. But when you walk out, have a look at all the shoes in the stairs. Okay. Again, that's fire something. regulation. That's, that's what that's all this started that's about. Nothing to do with police. No, it's nothing to do with the police. Yeah. I know. We can't. We can't help with that. Okay. okay. We'll leave. We'll leave you to it. But that's obviously what we advise for going forward. Um, but yeah, I know it's frustrating. It's, it's not so much frustrating. I'm confused because I'm getting mixed signals from everyone okay. all the time. I would just follow whatever the council tells you. Yeah, do. but that feels like I'm being bullied. Okay, because they're not giving any justification for okay, it. Okay, but if they own a property and they own a communal area, they don't need to. If I owned a property and I said because I own it, yeah, but I'm they're supposed to keep the communal area clear and they don't. They're in breach of their tenancy on the same grounds that I'm in breach of mine, and yet okay. they're not being chased about their tenancy. I don't know anything about their tenancy. I can show you the paperwork. But but you've got you you've got paperwork on their tenancy. Yes. Oh, how do you know they've got the same tenancy agreement? I don't know that. How do you know? It's that come from it's come from my housing officer. He's sent it to the, everyone's got the same tenancy agreement. Okay, then if they're breaching it and everyone's got it, you just say they breached the tenancy agreement. I've done that for seven months and they've done nothing. Okay. Well, they're not going to then, are they? What Why? Do? I don't know. I don't. Why well, about me and not about them? I have no we're idea. Not, we're not. Yeah, I have no idea. idea. I, I really can't answer those questions, sir. No, I know. Thank you for coming anyway. Okay, so take care of yourself, okay? I'll try. Caspi, get off the laptop. You need to get off the laptop. I don't know what it is.